Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna tour Pronghorn Ranch in Prescott Valley, which is located just north of Highway 89A and Fane Road off of Viewpoint. We're gonna do a driving tour through some of the neighborhoods, tour uh, one of Dorn Homes models, and even walk through a house that's under construction by Pronghorn Homes. So stick around, you don't wanna miss it. We're driving down Pronghorn Ranch Parkway right here and you'll see the large uh, detached trail system that kind of runs along the parkway. Great walking path, biking path, take the dogs out for a walk. Um, it's kind of nice to see something as large as it is, um, wide enough for a stroller or, you know, a couple bikes side by side, which is, which is a feature that we really like about Pronghorn. So Pronghorn Ranch started in the early 2000s, about 20 years ago. It comprises of around 640 acres, and uh, that don't let that 20-year age fool you. Before developers started increasing density and creating five-foot setbacks between you and your neighbor, this development has some pretty good lot sizes, which you'll see. This section of housing right here uh, built around 2003 and on average the lot size is around 10,000 square feet when you get into some of the cul-de-sac lots You could see 0 0.25 0 0.27 0 0.3 So, you know nearly a third acre uh, lot size, which is pretty nice So we've crossed over on the east side of Pronghorn Parkway and uh, here's some a newer section of the community um, these are built here in the last five to ten years. Um, still pretty good lot sizes, but you can see the density is a little more. Um, these did offer three car garages, which is nice. Um, you've got the paver driveways as opposed to concrete, kind of a nice touch. Um, this section here, a little older, this is probably in that 10 to 12 year um, age bracket. Um, got some two story homes, which are pretty rare for the area. The street right here is uh, directly behind the clubhouse, community center, and community pools. And um, real nice feel uh, to this particular street. Speaking of the clubhouse, here it is. This is um, Pronghorn Ranch clubhouse, community center, um, got some koi ponds right there at the entrance. Um, in the distance is the um, community pools. They do have two pools here, which is kind of nice. Um, pickleball courts, um, they've got a little putting green. Um, in addition, there are multiple parks throughout the community. Now these amenities, as you would expect, do come at a cost. Um, this is a homeowners association. But uh, 67 bucks a month paid at the recording of this video, which for the amount of amenities that you get, is really not, not a bad price. Uh, lots of things to offer. Here you've got you know basketball courts. They've got a baseball diamond. They even have um, RV storage. Now, of course, that's at an extra comes at an extra cost, but the fact that you can have your camper in the community and not have to pay for additional storage is a nice feature. As Sean previously mentioned, uh, Pronghorn Ranch is almost near completion for build out. However, Dorn Homes is building there. It's Shadow Ridge at Pronghorn Ranch. And as you can see, we're touring the model here. It's a three bedroom plus den, two and a half bath, 2140 square foot with a three car garage. Something that I like about Dorn Homes, they have some great floor plans. They do build quite a few new construction homes in our area, uh, but they do have a great architect that they're working with using um, to build these homes and or to design these homes. So great open floor plans. It's more of that great room space. 
the secondary bedrooms aren't too tiny, so if you're using them as home gym, guest bedrooms, kids bedrooms, whatever, there's definitely space for that. But I do appreciate their, their floor plans being that kind of great room, big wide open space floor plan. Uh, another nice thing, even though this is a single level, it does have a powder room. So if you're using your secondary bedrooms and you know maybe your kiddos are in your hall bath, your guests don't have to use that. They have their own special uh, powder room in this particular floor plan. They have a few lots still available there. The lot sizes are not too tiny. They are, you know, on the smaller side. They're probably around um, 7,500 square foot would be my guess. And, uh, but again, you're not right on top of your neighbors. You do have some breathing room in between, which is nice. But well done models. They have some standing inventory homes currently out there. And, uh, but here's the rest of the tour we thought you guys might like to take a look. So a couple other things worth mentioning if you're considering buying from a builder in a community such as Pronghorn Ranch or from a builder such as Dorn Homes. The finishes that you see in the model homes are not standard. You are probably going to spend anywhere between five and 10% of your purchase price on upgrading the finishes such as flooring, cabinets, tile, countertops, etc. So keep that in mind. One last thought while we wrap up the tour of this beautiful Dorn model home. Uh, Pronghorn Ranch is not as far out of town as a lot of people think. If you're coming from out of area and you're looking at a map, it's really only 15 minutes into Prescott Valley Town Center. And you're probably 20 to 25 to Costco and Trader Joe's. Uh, so not that far of a drive to, to your amenities into town. And um, also Prescott Valley, you get a little bit more bang for your buck for new construction if you're buying in a subdivision such as this. The prices are going to be a little bit less than if you're buying in Prescott proper. So something also to keep in mind, if you're a value shopper or you like a deal, uh, that's definitely something that you should be thinking about. So we've driven over to Pronghorn Homes. They're building off of Robin's Nest. And uh, this model here, uh, this home under construction, about 1,900 square feet, three bed, three bath. Uh, one thing I like about what Pronghorn Homes has done is included a lot of things that other builders uh, charge as options. You'll see that shiplap on the fireplace, real nice cabinetry, uh, recessed lighting, solid surface granite countertops, um, just a real good feel uh, to the uh, home as you're walking through. This here is one of the secondary bedrooms, which is uh, has its own ensuite attached bath. Again, you know, nice countertops, tile work in the shower, really well done. We'll head over towards the master suite and um, you'll see they've got a coffered ceiling detail with some crown molding, another nice touch. And again, these are all included features within the sale price. Uh, this home, I believe was priced right around 619. Um, as it's shown, you've got a big walk-in shower. You'll see here on the right-hand side, nice walk-in closet. Um, they just done a really nice job. You even see a, a rain shower head from the ceiling. Um, and again, this, uh, this home was a spec, so it was not yet sold. So these features were included from, uh, from the builder, real nice touch. And you, unfortunately you're going to spend extras. If you go through a builder like Dorn or Mandalay homes, or even Woodside, um, those are all going to be added costs to you as the consumer. Um, as opposed to going through a smaller builder like this where it's included. So uh, kudos to these guys for doing a nice job. We're trying to navigate through the uh, pantry area, laundry, um, and not get in the tile guy's way. So 
Um, hope you enjoyed the walkthrough of this home by Pronghorn Homes in Pronghorn Ranch. I believe there is some relation to that. I think the owners of Pronghorn Homes were the original developer of Pronghorn Ranch. So dear, what did you like best about Pronghorn Ranch? I like the big trails. They have like a huge sidewalk trail system and I felt like everybody was out walking, which was awesome. And I like that there's some houses that had RV garages. I thought that was kind of a nice touch. And I like their clubhouse. They had a couple of parks and a big clubhouse with a pool. Swimming pools are always good in yeah, Arizona. Yeah, absolutely. And then it had pickleball, which doubles as a basketball court and a little putting green um, at their clubhouse. I thought that was cool. What'd you like? Did we talk about trails? Yeah, lots of trails. Lots of trails. Lots of trails. Oh, there's so 